Here is action-packed football, featuring the Washington State College Cougars, one of the West's most exciting football teams, seen each week meeting a top gridiron power. Hello, everybody. This is Keith Jackson speaking from Eugene, Oregon, where this afternoon the University of Oregon Ducks are at home against the Washington State College Cougars in a football rivalry that goes back to 1901. And this afternoon, as we enter this contest, a big one for both football teams, particularly for Washington State College. Oregon has won 14 times, Washington State 15 times, and there have been six ties. It's a very mucky day. It's been raining for the past two days, and the skies are still filled with wetness as we get ready for the ball game this afternoon. Very quickly now, as we look down below at the flip of the coin, we check the Washington State College starting lineup. At left end, co-captain Don Ellingson, number 87. At left tackle, number 78, Ray Blair. At left guard, number 68, Bill Berry. At center, Marvin Nelson, co-captain. At uh, right guard, it'll be number 62, Ron Green, a surprise starter. At right tackle, Mike Lindsay. At right end, it'll probably be 82, Don Johnson. At uh, the quarterback post, number 27, Dave Wilson. If the Cougars receive, it'll be Ted Kano, number 44, at left half. If they kick off, it'll be Keith Lincoln. At right half, it'll be number 23, Leroy Rath. And at fullback, number 42, Chuck Morrell. For the University of Oregon Ducks, at left end, Alden Kimbrough. Washington State has won the toss. At left tackle, Darrell Ashbacher, number 74. Kimbrough, number 85. At left guard, Joe Sheffield, number 64. At center, Bob Peterson. Number 52, at right guard, number 62, Bob Gretkow. At right tackle, number 71, Jim Linden. At right end, Ron Stover, the captain. And at quarterback, it'll be Dave Gross, number 10. He's from Kent, Washington. At left halfback, Willie West, number 20. And at right halfback, number 25, Charlie Tourville. And at fullback, number 44, Marion Holland. And we're going to get ready for football here in just a moment. Quickly, the officials, referee Jimmy Kane, the umpire Mel Nickerson, the headlinesman Bill Frazier, the field judge Frank Fiddler, the back judge Tom Fitzpatrick. And here we go, Washington State and Oregon. All right, Washington State College kicking off. Keith Lincoln kicking the football deep for Oregon. West and Tourville, and the ball skids out of bounds at the eight-yard line, and Washington State College will draw a five-yard penalty and will be forced to kick from their own 35 as the rain begins to come down. All right, let's try it again. A crowd of about 21,000 here for this ball game, and Lincoln roots this one, a spinning kick, and again it goes toward the sidelines, and again it goes out of bounds. So let's see what happens on this one now as Lincoln, for the second time in a row, kicks the football out of bounds. Well, the Cougars helping the Ducks a little bit here before the clock even starts to run. Lincoln tries the third time. This time he roots a good one. It goes down to West at the... fumbles the football, picks it up back there. And it's Willie West all the way back to the 38-yard line where it's Oregon's ball, first down and 10. Calling signals for the Oregon Ducks wearing green uniforms and orange green jerseys, orange trousers. Dave Gross, number 10. They've got the flanker out here. The give is off to West and he's trapped for a yard loss. Second down, about 10 and a half yards to go now for the University of Oregon Ducks. They flank Tourville to the right and split the right end Stover with Gross at quarterback. He pitches the ball back to West. Morrell goes after him, can't get him. West turns the corner. And he's penalty called on the field below. Penalty flags are down, and it's against the University of Oregon holding. Second down, 18 yards to go now as Oregon draws the penalty from the point of infraction. And uh, Stover is the uh, flanker wide to the right. The right end split out and uh, Turville in motion. The give is off to Turville. Looks downfield to throw the ball. Loops it over and uh, incomplete. You'll see that play quite a bit probably this afternoon. This time uh, West goes wide as a flanker to the left side and uh, Stover splits down to the right side and it's Gross, your quarterback. The Washington State defensive secondary spread as Gross goes straight back to throw. Being rushed, trouble, and they get him way back there on the 25-yard line. Back in punt formation now, fourth and 18, goes Dave Gross, the quarterback. Double safety for Washington State. Gets the rush, and it's a short kick. And they let it bounce, and it'll roll dead at the 36-yard line, first and 10 Cougars. 
Dave Wilson is your quarterback. Bob Newman will play some this afternoon. He still has a gimpy leg. The left knee injured in the Idaho ball game, so Wilson is starting here. And that's Morrell diving straight ahead for good yardage, up across the 40 to the 42. Because of the wetness of the day, a new football goes in on each play. Steiger is in at right end now, Ellington at left end, and the quarterback is Wilson. And again, it's Morrell. He breaks into the clear. He's got his first down at the Oregon 48-yard line. The Cougars moving for a first down, moving from their own uh, 36 down to the Oregon 48 in two plays. And it's Keith Lincoln turning the corner. He's down inside the 40 to the 38-yard line, very close to another first down. First down for Washington State at the Oregon 37-and-a-half-yard line. A Cougar ground game running off that unbalanced line to the right with that single wing power moving very well here. That's Morrell, and he gets in there for about three or four yards. Make it five yards, and make it second down and five to go for the Cougars in the white uniforms, Oregon in the green and orange. The Cougars with the football, and they're moving it. And it's Morrell again. And again, he's got the first down. The Cougars moving on the line, and Oregon is up there now in a five-man line with the two linebackers moving in closer. And Wilson gives to Lincoln. Dives for about three yards. Second down, a short eight now for Washington State. And it's Ellingson coming way wide to the left as Wilson looks in to call the signals for Washington State. And it's Morrell, and this time he is uh, inside the 20-yard line to about the 18. Third down and five yards to go. The ball just inside the 19-yard line. Let's see what Davey Wilson elects to call here. Gives to Morrell, staying on the ground. Morrell going to the 15. Brings up fourth down, an important down here. Here's a big play in the early stages of the ball game. Fourth down, a yard and a half to go on the Oregon 15. Fourth and a yard and a half. Lincoln. Very close. First down, Cougars. But Oregon now goes into a six-man line. Spread that line a little bit. Morrell at the line of scrimmage. Second down, about nine yards to go. Washington State on the attack, and it's Wilson rolling out to pass. Keeps it, and they've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Wilson lost... Uh, very little on that play, getting back to the line of scrimmage. Now they give it to the Lincoln at the right side. He gets a block. He's in trouble now, and he goes inside the 10 to the 9-yard line and brings up fourth down. It is now fourth down, and uh, Washington State College is going for the field goal. The ball will be kicked from the 16-yard line and kicked from an angle at the right side, and Koppel is in to do the kicking. Number 71, Koppel, will kick. It's up. And it's no good. It is no good. Oregon will take over at the 20-yard line. All right, the Oregon Ducks now stopping Washington State. Move to the attack. Oregon, and it's Gross giving to his fullback. And the fullback, number 41, Dave Powell, is in for short yardage. Second down and uh, six yards to go for Oregon. Again, a four on that last play. The fullback is Powell now, and the quarterback is still gross with Tourville West in the backfield, and it's Tourville. Oh, they're in there scrapping as he gets up to the 25, 26-yard line. It's third down and a long four yards for Oregon. Cougars in a six-man line, and it's West in... And it's Gross throwing the lob pass out here, and it's out of bounds. And it's no good. Caught out of bounds by Torville. Well, one thing, you're getting a bird's eye view of the football game today. We're looking right down on them when they get over here on this near sideline. Punt formation now. Sandy Fraser for Oregon. Low snap. Fumble. Fumble. Who's got it? It's all the way back there on the 13-yard line. It's Washington State's ball. First and 10 on the Oregon 13. A bad snap from center. Costs the Ducks. 
Let's set the Washington uh, offensive backfield for you now. For the Cougars, it's Jeff Price at quarterback, Ketchy at left half, Stevens at uh, fullback, and uh, Schroeder at right half back. And uh, the give is off to the fullback, Stevens, and he gets about a yard. Jeff Price is the quarterback now, number 20. Second down, nine yards to go, gain of one. That's Stevens. Bulls his way for about three yards, down to about the eight-yard line. About four and a half minutes left to play in the first quarter, and it's third down, and six yards to go for Washington State, the ball on the nine-yard line. Price, the quarterback. Stevens again, and he gets about two yards, and that's all. They're really cracking in their own defense. It's fourth down and five yards to go as the Cougars are trying to push it up the middle, and they're not getting anywhere with it. Let's see if Price will elect to throw the ball now. And it's knocked loose, and Oregon has a takeover. Well, the Cougars trying to pound up the middle of this Oregon line. Got no place with it. The quarterback now for the University of Oregon, number 18, Paul Grover. Loudenslager is in there. And the give is off to Powell, and he gets through there and goes all the way to the 15-16 yard line. Oregon in their go-go-go series now. Powell again, breaking clear for the first down at the 21-yard line. The Ducks hurrying, trying to keep that defense from getting set. Grover falls down for a yard loss. Second down. Loudon Slugger, McKinney, Grover, and Powell, the backfield for Oregon. The ends are in tight. And the pitch, and uh, red flag goes down, and McKinney is stopped at the 26-yard line. And the penalty is against Oregon offside. Down 14 yards to go for Oregon at their own 17-yard line. And the quarterback is Paul Grover. McKinney is wide to the left, and Welch is wide to the right. Long count this time. Jump pass. Good. Caught by Alton Hoffman. Rath has gone to the ball game for the Cougars, replacing Shaw. Grover at quarterback. Powell, penalty flag on the field as the play is stopped after Powell dives in for about a yard and a half. First and 25 for Oregon as they draw a 15-yard penalty for holding, and they'll put the ball in play from their 17 again. The Cougars have had all the breaks so far. And they get McKinney on the 18-yard line, 19-yard line. Second and 24 as McKinney picked up one. To about the 18 and a half. Grover rolling out. Throws it out there. And it's caught by McKinney. Short of the first down at the 29-yard line. Third down now at about 12. As it looked for a moment, McKinney might shake loose. And it's Grover back to throw. The left-hander looking downfield, being pursued. Throws it out there, incomplete. Sandy Fraser back in punt formation. Gets a nice kick out of there this time, and it's catchy, letting it bounce. And it rolls dead at the 35-yard line. The Cougars have it again. First down and 10 yards to go. All right, the Cougars come back to the attack again. Now they've been down there close twice and have failed to punch it in. And there is the end of the first quarter. Score, Washington State College nothing. The University of Oregon nothing. Now, as we get set to start the second quarter of play, the rain is pouring down, and there you, below the scoreboard, you'll see a group of football fans who came regardless, and the weather is as bad as you could find. Now, let's pick up the action as the first unit comes on for Washington State with Dave Wilson at quarterback, and he gives to Leroy Rath, and Rath is met right there at the line of scrimmage. He lost about a half a yard. Second down, 10 yards to go. A little bit of a loss, not enough to bother yourself with as Wilson calls the signals. Keeps it, shoots it, and it's caught by Lincoln, and they get him at the 44-yard line just short of the first down. Nine, 
Rolling to the weak side. Wilson completing to Lincoln. It's third down and a yard to go at the 44. A big play here. And it's Leroy Rath diving in there. He gets the first down. It'll be very close, but I think he's in. The Cougars have pretty well dominated play in this football game so far. They've generated considerable offensive power, but have not been able to move that ball in for the score. And the give is to Morrell. He's up to the 50-yard line. The rain is really coming down now. It's second down and six yards to go at midfield. Washington State in possession. Offside against Washington State as Lincoln tries to come around the corner and goes out of bounds in Oregon Territory at the 47. Second down and just a little bit more than 10 yards to go now as Oregon accepts the five-yard penalty. And the rain is really coming down. Morrell dives in there, fumbles the football. Oregon recovers at midfield. And so the Oregon Ducks get their first break of the ball game. Let's see what they can do with it. Fraser, the quarterback, and the fullback Powell wraps in there for two yards. Second down, eight yards to go, a gain of two. Holland in at fullback for Oregon. The quarterback is Fraser. At left half back, you've got West at right half, uh, Tourville. Tourville is the flanker back. And it's Fraser keeping. Goes inside the 45 to the 44. Third down and about four yards to go. Ball on the 44. And it's uh, West, and he's hit at the line of scrimmage, falls forward, and he'll probably be credited with the yard gain. Fourth down and a long three for the University of Oregon. And back in punt formation goes Fraser. And he'll no doubt kick for the corner. That ball getting slick out there. The rain really coming down, and he angles it for the sidelines. He's got a good angle, and he gets it out of bounds at uh, about the 10-yard line. Mark it. Mark it at the 12-yard line. First and ten, Washington State. And it... Lincoln. They get him back on the seven-yard line. Second down, 15 yards to go. As Stover crashed in there and dropped Lincoln for a loss of five. A fumble here could be real trouble, couldn't it? Penalty flags as Morrell dives at the left side and goes no place. And Washington State is offside. Third and 14, Oregon refusing the penalty, the offside penalty. And it's Steiger. He may or may not kick. He is not going to kick. All the way out to the 25-yard line. It's a first down, Washington State. All right, Steiger running that football up for 18 yards and a first down. Now the Cougars start to operate with a little more room behind them, and it's Lincoln. On the option, shoots it, and it's good. And it's good to Rath at the 37-yard line. Well, Washington State College continues in the scoreless deadlock to dominate the play. Their defense has been very good against Oregon. Wilson, the quarterback. Morrell. Slips and slides his way. Fumble! What do they say? Is it Oregon's ball? The knee was down. The knee was down, or was it? Let's see what they say. It's Washington State maintaining possession. That was a break. Second down, four yards to go, a gain of six. Football squirting around down there. It's getting a little greasy. That's Lincoln. At the 46-yard line. It's another first down for Washington State. The ball just outside the 45. And Wilson gives to Lincoln again. And he goes for a couple of yards. Second down, eight yards to go. A gain of two. The Cougars moving the ball on the ground. That's uh, Rath spinning away for no gain. All right, as we move to the attack again here with a third down and eight yards to go for Washington State, we have Bob Newman and Gail Cogdill in the ball game, both with bad legs, but both able to play. And it's Morrell and Rath in the backfield along with Newman. And Newman goes straight back to pass. Throws it out here. Good to Morrell. He's all the way down to the 25-yard line. First down, Cougars.
Newman was hit back there, but he wouldn't go down. He hit on the swing to Morrell, the option man, and Morrell gets the first down at the 26-yard line. And this time it's Morrell at the left side. He's to the 20-yard line. All right, Washington State moving close for the third time. It's second down and three yards to go at the 20. A long three. And it's Newman to Morrell. Cuts back. He gets about two. Third and one for Washington State. Third and one. It's Morrell. He's got the first down as he goes inside the 15, all the way to the 11-yard line. The rain is coming down in torrents. Newman. Lincoln goes all the way to the seven. Lincoln. Keith Lincoln squirting through there for four. Second and six. Cogdill and Ellingson are flanked, and Newman is the quarterback. Morrell at full, and Lincoln the left half. Strong side to the right for the Cougars. Morrell keeps going down, down, down to the three yard line. Third down and about one yard to go. Third down and one on the three. They can get a first down if they can get one yard here. And it's Lincoln. No, he didn't quite make it. It's a first down and about six inches to go for the touchdown. First and goal and about six inches. All right, the Cougars are marching. They have come from their own seven, 93 yards. Newman dives, touchdown Cougars. They lead it. All right, the Cougars come up here leading 6-0. They're going for two. Newman out to the right. Throws it, and it's no good. No good, and Oregon stops the point after, and Washington State leads it with three minutes and 56 seconds left to play in the first half. Six to nothing, and the Cougars have dominated play here in the first half. Dan Verhey, number 76, a tackle kicking off for Washington State. Lumbers up and roots a short one. Hits. Powell picks it up. Ho, oh, oh, fumble! Cougars recover it! Cougars recover on the 23. Newman back in the ball game as Washington State comes up with a big break here. First down and 10 on the 23, and I believe it was Grieg that uh, separated Powell from that football. That's Ed Stevens. Oh, look at that fella drive. All the way down to the 15-yard line. Eight of eight yards for Ed Stevens, and it's second down and two yards to go. The ball just outside the 15. They have to go to the 13 for their first down, and the ball is off to Shaw. Shaw running laterally, goes close to the first down. All right, it's third down and about three inches for that first down at the 13. Stevens, he's got his first down as he booms to the 11-yard line. Washington State staying on the ground. They have rolled up a large amount of yardage here in this first half. Jump pass, Cogdell! He dropped it. He dropped it. That football kind of greasy out there today. Second down, 10 yards to go. Newman. Out there to Shaw. He is down to the four-yard line. It's third down and about three yards to go for the first down. Third and four for the touchdown. Stevens rides his way forward, rides his way very close. He'll be short of the first down probably. Big play. Fourth down and a yard to go. Stevens, fumble! Oregon recovers! Well, the fumble cost them Washington State losing their second, uh, actually third chance to score. They've been in there four times and have counted only once. Straight ahead, short of the five. 30. Time just about gone. They may not get this play off. And they don't. And the gun sound ending the first half of play with the University of Oregon favored uh, quite heavily in this ball game, being completely outplayed by the Washington State Cougars. And the Cougars lead it six to nothing at the halftime, though Washington State has had an opportunity to put many more points on the board. And just a moment ago, they were denied uh, their fourth opportunity 
as uh, the ball was fumbled down on about the one yard line and the Oregon Ducks alertly came up with it to save it. And the score stands at halftime. Washington State six. The University of Oregon nothing. Down below the University of Oregon marching band performing at halftime here homecoming at Oregon this weekend. And while we watch the marching band perform listen to the music let's recount briefly some of the action of the first half. Washington State College having dominated play and controlled the football throughout the first half fumbled away one touchdown on the one yard line just as a half came to a close. The Oregon defense denied the Cougars on two other occasions but Washington State did march 93 yards for a touchdown that put them ahead here at halftime six to nothing. The big play on that drive was Bill Steiger running out of a single wing literally but more like an A formation the old A formation as he broke loose from the seven yard line raced all the way out to the twenty five yard line and that started the Cougars on their march Newman came on directed the tail end of the drive and he went in for six they missed the point after the score at the halftime the score stands Washington State six Oregon nothing. Now we are set to start the second half of play. Washington State leading six to nothing. The Cougars gained 185 yards in the first half to Oregon's 38. Dominating play, but still managed to get only six on the board. So Lincoln now kicks off to start the second half. And Oregon's homecoming game, and this time he roots a good one. West goes back to his three-yard line to take it. And they get him at the 33. West returning at 30 yards and Gross is the quarterback with Tourville West and Holland in there and it's the option at the right side and they get him after a one yard gain. Second down nine yards to go. This should be a real bruising second half. Oregon lethargic in the first half the Cougar defense stopping them almost cold in motion. And the give is to West and he roots his way to the 30 yard line and he picks up about a yard. Make it the 35 just over the 35 yard line and make it third down and a short seven for Oregon. Balance line. End of split. Gross long count rolling back to throw the ball being pursued. Lindsay just missed him. Nice running by Gross. A beautiful run by Dave Gross into Cougar territory at the Washington State 49. First down Oregon. Good running by Dave Gross saved him that time because Mike Lindsay was pursuing him all the way. Pitch is off to West. He goes to the 45 a gain of four. Ron Stober injured an ankle on the last play and he's out of the ball game and Oregon moves up in an unbalanced line to the right this time with a flanker back and an end split both at the right side and Gross the quarterback gives off to West breaks into the middle look at him go oh boy. This Oregon running game hitting with much more authority here as we start the second half. The Cougars only have six points on the board too. Despite the lack of yardage put up by Oregon in the first half they can get back in the ball game in a hurry as uh, Holland dives in for about two three yards. Second down seven yards to go at the Cougar 32 yard line and now the Washington State defense must come up and stand uh, the test here as Oregon begins to move it. And this is a very quick football team. Morrell, a great play by Chuck Morrell, a great play. That could have been a great big play in this ball game right there. Morrell the defensive left end hit but wouldn't go down and stopped West for a three yard loss third down 13. Could be a pass play. Gross rolling to the left. Running the option. Gets a good block. Green is after him. And it's Barry getting him. The little 165 pound guard comes in there and drops him for a loss. Back on the 42 yard line. Fourth and 15. A little more at the 41 yard line where they put it down. And it's Gross back in punt formation is on 49. Cougars are offside. The kick is for the coffin corner. It'll go into the end zone. And the Cougars are going to draw a five yard penalty for offsides. 
It's fourth down and a little more than 10 yards to go, and it's still a punt formation. Gross kicking this time from just outside the 45. Gets a good snap. This time shoots for the corner, and again, he's missed the corner. It goes into the end zone. Washington State's ball at the 21st and 10. All right, Dave Wilson is the trigger man here for the Washington State offense as they come up first and 10 at the 20, leading 6 and nothing. And it's Keith Lincoln. Oh, this fellow, he's a sophomore, real slick, up to the 29. Second down, and one to go for the first down as Wilson sends Morrell into the middle of the line, and he's got the first down at the 31. All right, Lincoln is out of the ball game, and Carl Ketchy has come on a left halfback, a change. The Cougars went for 141 yards on the ground in the first half of play. Ketchy has it. Oh, they were waiting for him that time. He's got a yard, maybe two. Second down, eight yards to go. We're looking right down on top of them here as they move along the right side of the football field, and the rain has stopped for the moment. Rath on the reverse. He is up to the 36. Third down and four yards to go, and it's a big play. This time it's Steiger back in a single wing formation to the right. And let's see what... They've got the line balanced. Steiger's going to run it. Gets his yardage. Here he comes up to the 45, 46-yard line. First down, Washington State. Washington State College, without doubt, playing the best football game they've played this season. And it's Rath. And he cuts back at the weak side and goes for a couple. Second down and uh, a short eight yards to go. Unbalanced line, and it's Wilson, your quarterback. And it's Rath at the left side, and he's hit right at the line of scrimmage. Another big one. We've had a lot of big ones here today. Third down and seven yards to go. Let's see if Wilson elects to throw it. Nope, he gives it to Ketchy. And Ketchy is short of the first down. So it's fourth down and uh, three yards to go, and it's Steiger standing in punt formation, kicking from his own 43. He's going to run it. Short of the first down, and Oregon has taken over at their own 47-yard line. Well, the Cougars trying for the three yards of the first down, give it over to Oregon at the 47, giving the Ducks room to operate. And it's McKinney up to midfield. Second down, eight yards to go now as uh, Paul Grover directs the Oregon offense at the 49. McKinney. And he's into Cougar territory at the 48. It's been a real good, tough football game. Third down, four yards to go. Oregon owns the ball at the Washington State 48. They're down six points. Cougars leading six and nothing. Third quarter of play. Back to pass goes Grover. Throws it in complete as Johnson tried for it and couldn't come up with it. And it brings up fourth down. All right, Fraser comes on with five minutes to play in the third quarter. Back in punt formation, it is 41. Double safety for Washington State. Here's the kick. And it's a honey. Ellersick back there. Takes it. Gets a good block, but they nail him back on the seven-yard line. <laughs> Washington State College moving up now with Bob Newman having gone into the backfield at quarterback Ed Stevens along with Leroy Rath in there and it's Rath straight ahead to the 10 yard 11 yard line second and seven at the 11 for Washington State Steiger and Ellersick of the ends catchy at the left halfback the flanker back is Fumble in that backfield. Who's got it? Oregon has recovered. Oregon with their best break of the ball game. On the 11-yard line, first and 10. Unbalanced to the right. Fraser keeping it. Pitches it back. McKinney, they nail him all the way back to the 16-yard line. A great play over there by Steiger. 
Second down and 15 for Oregon at the 16 now. Second and 15. And Grover gives it off to McKinney. On the option. And they get him at the 15-yard line. Third and 14. Third down and 14 for Oregon. Tourville is in there at a flanker. Back to pass goes uh, Grover. Throws it down the middle and it's almost intercepted. No good. Fourth down, 14 yards to go for the University of Oregon Ducks. Fourth and 14 and two and a half minutes left to play on the incompleted pass. And Gross has come on at quarterback for Oregon. He drops straight back in the slot to throw. And uh, they've got him down, and our Washington State College has held back on the 20-yard line, and it's a first down and 10 for the Cougars. And the Cougar defense rose up and stopped them ice cold. Washington State first and 10 at the 22. Jim Grieg, number 67, came in and threw him down to the earth. Jeff Price at quarterback now. Gives it to Ed Stevens, and Stevens gets about two yards. Washington State College defenses, very good so far. A minute, 25. Second down, eight yards to go, and it's Rath at the weak side, and he backs his way up to the 25, again on the play of about a half a yard. Washington State College leading in the ball game by a score of six to nothing. The rain has stopped here in the second half, and the sun is threatening to come out. Game being played here at Eugene, Oregon. A real good defensive football game, and Washington State has dominated it so far. Oregon was real close to a touchdown, but the Cougars stopped him. Price jump pass, and it's no good. And uh, penalty flag hits the deck. Let's see what the call might be. It's going to be against Washington State College for holding. Fourth down and seven yards to go as the University of Oregon Ducks refuse the penalty to take up the down and Steiger kicks the ball. Comes back here to McKinney. And he gets back to his own 43. And so with 40 seconds remaining in the third period, Oregon takes over first and 10 at their 43, trailing by six points, six to nothing, the Cougars leading. Gross to McKinney, the option play, looking downfield and they bang him down at the 42 yard line. All these Cougars are hustling on defense. A half a minute left to play now as the inner defenses of the Washington State line came crashing in there. Number 69 leading the play. George Somnus, number 63 in on the play. Dick Farrar. Uh, Jim Grigg has been tremendous on the inner defenses. So has Bill Berry. Chuck Morrell has been outstanding at the defensive left side. So has Ed Stevens. Oregon now with Groves, number 10, dropping back in the slot to look downfield and throw. Throws it out here. And they nail McKinney for a loss back at the 36-yard line. And there is the end of the third quarter, and the score remains. Washington State College, six. The University of Oregon, nothing at the end of the third quarter. All right, third down, and uh, 16 yards to go for Oregon. They have the ball on their own 37. And number 10, Dave, Gro uh, number 18, Paul Grover is in the ball game. The left-handed pass, it throws a swing pass out there to West. West cutting back, falls down at the 36. All right, Sandy Fraser goes back in punt formation on 4th and 17, kicking from his own 26. And he gets a nice high kick away, and Ellersick calls for a fair catch and takes it at the 34-yard line. So Washington State College will put the ball in play just shy of the 35-yard line, 1st and 10. Jeff Price remains on the field to run the football here for Washington State to run the offense at quarterback. But Stevens, Ketchy, and Rath Ellersick and Steiger are the ends. And uh, it's Price keeping, looking downfield, throwing out here to Ketchy. Ketchy's got lots of daylight. And they knock him out of bounds at the University of Oregon 38-yard line. And Price came up with a great fake. Great ball handling in there by Jeff Price. Puts the ball first and 10 at the Oregon 38. The Cougars lead it by 6, 6-0. 
in the fourth quarter. And Rath cracks straight ahead to the 35. Second down, seven to go. Washington State owns the ball at the Oregon 35. Price, number 20. Back in the slot. Oh, missed his man. He was throwing for Ellersick, incomplete. Dave Wilson has come on now at quarterback, third down and seven. And it's Wilson rolling to the left. Shooting it out here to Ellersick. Good. And they get him at about the 28-yard line. Very close to a first down. Now let's look right down on top of this measurement and see what it looks like. First down. Any part of that ball is past the marker. It'll be a first down. It is just barely. The sun comes out all of a sudden. Wilson gives to Ketchy, and oh boy, they were waiting for him, weren't they? They nail him for a slight loss on the play. Second and just a little more than 10 at the 29 yard line. And it's Stevens, and uh, Stevens isn't going into place either as he gets back to the original line of scrimmage, maybe to the 27. All right, it's third down and uh, just a little less than 10 yards, and they come up in the single wing this time with Steiger deep. And the Oregon defense starts shifting over to the right side. Left side defense, and the Cougars run it to the left side this time. Steiger getting some blockers. Keeps going inside the 20 down to the 18 yard line. Very close to a first down. Run to the left. Thank you. Fourth down and a foot to go, as you saw, just short. And let's see. The Oregon defense can hold him. Stevens. Oh, they cracked him right in there. And they may bring in the change to measure again. It'll be very close. Stevens barely got up there before he was hit, but he lunged, and he may have picked up just enough. Let's wait and see. Where are we going to look here? May or may not be. No! Oregon takes over. All right, Oregon stopped Ed Stevens after a couple of measurements and running the football across the field. We've got it located on about the 18-yard line, and Oregon comes up to the attack. And we have left to play in the ball game 11 minutes. The orange and green as uh, Gross keeps it and goes back to look to throw. Oh, boy! They finally drag him down. They finally drag him down. Back on about the 13-yard line. They whistle the play dead back at the 13, where it's a loss on the play of about seven or eight yards. Second down and about 17 yards to go. They've got West flanked way wide over there. And Gross is uh, giving the ball off to his fullback. Holland breaks up to the middle and gets up to the 19-yard line. Again, on that play of a little more than seven, so it's third down and about, about 10 yards, maybe a little less. The draw play working pretty good. And it's Gross rolling out. Throw the ball down here. Throws it down here. It's intercepted by Steiger down the sidelines. Look at him go inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line. A break for the Cougars as Steiger came up with a clean interception, threw it right in his hands. Washington State now with Steiger's interception. There's a fumble. Oregon recovers. So the Cougars are denied another golden opportunity. A ball greasy today. Very wet down below. And Gross rolling out. Keeping it. Comes up to the 27. Second down, about a foot to go for the first down. As Gross kept it and rolled very nicely wide to the left. Keeps it, goes back, looks downfield, long and deep. And it's intercepted by A.G.
They ruled that Oregon, uh, the ball was complete. They ruled that A.G. took the ball away from the receiver. They ruled that A.G. took the ball away from the receiver. And it's first down Oregon at the Washington State 38. Holy mackerel. Well, there's one you won't see very often. I'll guarantee you that. Gross back. And Oregon, the illegal motion. Pass. Incomplete. Uh, West was moving toward the line of scrimmage. So Oregon is going to draw a penalty of illegal procedure here. Backfield in motion. Well, we've had our excitement here, I'll tell you, in the last couple of minutes. The penalty refused by Washington State. Second down and 10 at their own 38-yard line. Oregon with the ball. And the give is off to Holland, the fullback. And Holland cracks his way down to the 34. Third down, six for Oregon. The Washington State, 34. Into the middle goes West, close to the first down. Fourth down and a little less than a yard. Fourth and a little less than a yard. Gross keeps it and gets the first down. First and ten for Oregon at the Washington State 36 now, and that was a great break on that pass play. Oh, boy, that may have saved the day for them. One of those judgment things that uh, the right side, and he's inside the 25. Inside. Second down, about eight and a half yards to go. Oregon putting the ball in play at the 26. Ball now rests at the 24. Gross is the quarterback. Give is off to the fullback. A nice play, and he goes uh, very close to the first down. About a yard and a half shy of it. Third down, and about two and a half yards to go for the first down. The ball on the 18. First down! Number 41, Dave Powell, all the way to the six-yard line. First and goal at the six. First and goal at the six. Powell to the five. Let's watch closely. Number 10 is your quarterback. The big man in this play, is, uh, last couple of plays, has been number 41. The pitch is off to West. And West, they get him back at the eight-yard line for a loss. Third down, eight yards to go for the touchdown. Third and eight. Third and eight. And it's Gross rolling. Throws it, and it's incomplete. It brings up fourth down and eight. Fourth down, eight yards to go, and Paul Grover has come on, replacing Gross, and Grover came in with a play from the bench. You can be sure of that. And he's going back to pass. Shoots it down there, and it's incomplete, and Washington State College has held. Boy, you can't beat this one for thrills, I'll guarantee you. Jeff Price, off to Chuck Morrell, who pushes his way out to the 11. Second down and six yards to go. The backfield is Price. Morrell, Lincoln, and it's Lincoln with it. Turning the corner. Up. For about four yards, about a yard shy of the first down, they push him out at something like the 16 or 17 yard line. Well, how do you measure the significance of a single play? If so, don't forget this one, third down and one. Morrell gets the first down as he comes up across the 20 to the 21. Two minutes left to play in the football game. First and 10 at the 21. Washington State owns the ball. And it's uh, Keith Lincoln getting back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Second and 10 at the 21. A minute and a half left to play in the ball game. Price giving off to Morrell. He's got two yards up to the 23. Third down, eight yards to go on the 23, and Washington State takes too much time. And the clock is stopped now with 44 seconds left to play in the football game. All right, the clock will start with 40 seconds now, 40 seconds to play, and it's Washington State in a single wing with Steiger deep. He may or may not kick. It is third down. He is not going to kick. He's running to the right. In some trouble, breaks away and comes up to the 15-yard line, and that's all. So now it'll bring up fourth down for Washington State. Fourth and about 16 to go. The clock is still running. 25 seconds. 24. 22. Oh boy, this could be one of if 
for a matter of fact, will be one of the big upsets of the coast because nobody figured the Cougars to win this one. They came into the ball club hot for it. They were up for it, and they have completely dominated the play. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two, one. There it is. Washington State College has upset the University of Oregon Ducks by a score of six to nothing. And the Cougars go onto the field. And the fans that came down to see this football go onto the field to congratulate them. A tremendous victory for Jim Sutherland's Warriors. A great coaching job by Jim Sutherland as he sent that football team out there this afternoon and they dominated the play. So the crowd goes onto the field and down come the goalposts at the uh, end of the field down there. Down come the goalposts. And the score, final, Washington State College 6, the University of Oregon, nothing. Washington State College now stands 3-2 and two on the season and uh, a real big win, a crucial for them, and keeps them in the Rose Bowl race. Next week, Washington State College takes on Southern California up in Spokane. And buy your tickets early for that one. And uh, Oregon next week goes against California at Berkeley and that is also a very big football game for everybody because California is unbeaten in conference play at least as of this moment by the time you see this film it may not be so at any rate the final score here this afternoon in a tremendous football game it was a real thriller all the way Washington State College six the University of Oregon nothing and this is Keith Jackson reminding you to follow the fortunes of the Cougars each week on Channel 4 now, Dick Cameron and I will be along next week at this time with USC and Washington State, so join us. West Coast Airlines, serving the Pacific West, provides transportation for these sportscasts. Fly the brilliant new Fairchild F-27 prop jet liners on West Coast Airlines.